Hello there, this is Stormdog, and today I'd like to talk about Sanok. Sanok is a 2021 Bollywood action movie. I say that, that it's a Bollywood film, but that's often a generalization that even I'm guilty of. In reality, what we often just lump together as Bollywood is three to four separate film industries in India. Accented Cinema has an excellent video on it. This is my first video on the channel about a Bollywood film. I've watched quite a few and decided I needed to start somewhere. This one isn't necessarily the best of any I've seen, but it's worth talking about. The title of the film roughly translates to anger, although your subtitles will decide that. Mine were a bit subpar. Due to that, I missed some helpful plot points that I discovered later on Wikipedia. The film is available for streaming on the different Disney Plus affiliates in the United States, but only if you have purchased the Hotstar edition to your subscription. Once again, Stormdog talks about a film that is not immediately easy to watch. Our film starts with a young married couple discovering that the wife has a heart problem. She goes to the hospital and the husband must leverage every favor and asset they have to pay for her treatment down to them losing their house. The operation is successful, and he goes to pick her up. As he is working on getting her checked out of the hospital, terrorists take over the building. He is stuck down in the parking garage, and she is taken hostage with all the other patients as well as the staff. The terrorists are there to free an arms dealer who is having his pacemaker worked on before the police take him back to prison. This arms dealer is responsible for the death of 18 soldiers something my subtitles didn't bother telling me until people kept repeating it at the end of the movie. I'm pretty sure it was a problem on my end, not a script problem. I'm choosing to blame the subs. There's a joke in there somewhere. It's basically Die Hard in a Hospital. Many movies have used the same rough formula. I don't find that to be a strike against the film. It's all what you do with it that matters. I really thought this was going to be a gunfight type of action movie. I was not very impressed by what looks to be CGI gunshots. As usually happens when they don't do it with practical effects, the environmental destruction is fickle. Mostly bullets leave holes in walls, and in some areas they even try to show glass breaking, plaster falling, and sparks flying, but it comes across as a halfway measure. That's fine, because it turns out the main character, Vivian, isn't that good with a gun, never having trained with one. He is an MMA coach, however, and this is where the movie surprised me. Instead of meaty gunfights, it instead focused on being what felt to me like an homage to classic Jackie Chan fights. I noticed this in the first fight, although there is still a lot of grappling and reversals, but the later fights really play this up with a couple moves I'm pretty sure were directly lifted from Chan films of old. I'm totally fine with this. Bollywood action movies are best when they are almost brazenly ripping off action movies from other countries. Hand-to-hand -hand fighting is where this movie shines most. Indian cinema is so good at hitting the musical riser and slow-mo in key moments and making ordinary actions feel incredible to the viewer. It is borderline, or is ridiculous, but it feels so good. Even cheesy action movies from over there thrill me in a way American comic book movies no longer can. The main character does this great bit when he gets really serious where he loads his fists. It reminds me of Henry Cavill in that one Mission Impossible movie. Does it necessarily make sense? No, but it's awesome. I don't know if the main characters here have martial arts training, a history of stunt work, or just a really good choreographer. All the moves are easy to see and decipherable. It all comes across very cleanly. You can often see in the scene and setting what object or location the fight will take advantage of next, just like Chen and Sammo Hung were so good at. These facts are what encouraged me to write this review. I feel the movie does move slowly in some parts, and there are one or two cheesy moments that the script didn't really pull off. The film is just under two hours. 
This is actually short for a Bollywood film. Unlike many of its industry, it does not take an hour-long break in the middle of the film to explore the romantic subplot. It had one very light musical number earlier in the film, and saves its full-blown musical number for the credits. Most Bollywood films have about three full-blown musical numbers. I'm not phrasing this, any of this, as a detraction. I actually enjoy all these standards. It's how their industry works, and I enjoy being along for the ride. Vidyat Jamwal is the main character here, and I don't seem to have seen any of his films so far, although many of them have been sitting on my watch list. I did learn a bit more about him, and he does have some martial arts background. Let me read you a bit of his bio. Given his elaborate expertise in the martial arts, especially the ancient form called Kalari Piat, which he's trained in since he was all of four years old, Vidyat has committed himself to creating a platform for action and stunts in world cinema. His first Bollywood outing, Force, a remake of the Tamil film Kaka Kaka, alongside John Abraham, gave audiences a sneak peek into the kind of action they can expect from Vidyat. It earned him a clean sweep at the awards that year, with him winning all the awards for Most Promising Debut way back in 2012. In later action films, he's even designed some of the fight scenes and stunts himself. There are many fun sequences in here, and even a section where he has to save all the babies in the infant ward, a bit like Hard Boiled. It is one of those types of films where all romantic leads look very beautiful, almost excessively. It honestly doesn't hurt the viewing. There really wasn't any actor I recognize from the other Indian films I've watched, although they do make a reference to Salman Khan. It's a fun B-movie from India with some classic brawls. It does a good job at hitting the little emotional moments within the fight scenes. This won't be for everyone. It doesn't have the standard amount of T-series devised musical numbers in a Bollywood movie, and it's not the most heavy-hitting action movie of the industry. You'll need to be the type of person willing to take a chance on a smaller film, a foreign film at that, and be capable of just enjoying the action. That's it, I'm out of here. That probably niches it down quite a bit, but I liked it enough to want to talk about its merits. Until next time, this has been Stormdog. Hmm.